I'm Kay, and I'm a late bloomer. <laughs> it's St. Patrick's Day, and there are big changes happening in this late bloomer garden. Check it out. Yesterday, we took out our front porch fence, which was rotted and had been here for 18 years. I had to move my entire potting station into the front yard for the interim. Lyndon was a big help. This is the wood we were able to salvage from the rotted fence. Uh, these pieces have a lot of holes in them, but I'm going to make planters, so at least some of the wood will be repurposed from the old fence. Uh, the termites got the rest of it. In my never-ending quest to maximize my area for growing food, it occurred to us, it was actually my husband's idea, I can't take credit for it, but I love the idea, take out this front walk, I could get 15 square feet. You people that have large yards, you probably think I'm crazy, but you know, I have the New York mentality, you know, small spaces, maximize. <sighs> take out all this and be able to plant. Enter the house from a gate farther down the driveway into the porch. What do you think? Check back into Late Bloomer to see how this story develops. Remember when these carrots were this tall? <laughs> Remember when all this was bare? Now it's so lush. Even my orange tree is coming to life. Still, it's a June gloomy kind of day. What can we find in the garden that will cheer us up? Wisteria, wow! Beans sprouting for the summer garden. Swiss chard and kale. I'm gonna make a great juice with this. And a monarch caterpillar forming its chrysalis. The next time you see this late bloomer garden, all this green stuff is going to be gone because the winter garden is almost over. Check out a peek. Green for St. Patrick's Day. Mm. Mm. I could eat a hundred of those. I have a hundred of those. <laughs> Let's get started. When you see leaves curled up like this, you know you have aphids. Whoa! Is that a nice St. Patty's Day green or what? <laughs> oh, these leaves are so healthy, the aphids left this one alone. My scepter. Grow. 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 <laughs> I'll call this St. Patrick's Day dip. I blended a leaf of kale, green kale, into fresh goat yogurt, a tablespoon of mayonnaise, a splash of orange juice from an orange from my tree, and chopped dill and chopped chive. Let's check it out. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. Double dipping. Green dip and green cauliflower for St. Patty's Day. Mm. Mm. If you have a question, please leave me a comment and share Late Bloomer with your friends. It's never too late to learn to grow vegetables. I'm Kay, I'm a Late Bloomer. Thanks for watching. See you next time. I'm Kay, I'm a Late Bloomer. <laughs> I'm a what? <laughs> green dip and green cauliflower. It's an acquired taste. They are edible. <laughs>